I want to make this video today because I want to talk about money. Money is not the end or be all, guys. Money is the end or be all if you're talking about family pressure and financial pressure like bills and maybe you've got kids. You've got to pay for the, the, the diapers, nappies and food for the baby and, well, uh, the new crib and, oh, you're going to be awake constantly because you fucking wake up at 3 a.m. and, like, it's hard. It's a hard life, all right? That money puts a lot of weight off your shoulders because then you just get a nanny. And then with the best moments, just before your kid goes to sleep, you could spend time with your kid then. That's what um, Eleanor Young in Crazy Rich Asians did. Literally, all the maids do all the work. Rich as fuck. Maids do all the work. Comes home, food's ready. Kids uh, kids would have been played all, day, played all day. Spend time with the kids for a bit and then go to sleep. So, that's the advantage that money gives you. Money gives you freedom. All right, Money does not give you happiness. And people get this conflated a lot. Like they think, and, and then the way they approach it is like, I fucking hate. Yeah. Sorry, that's right. Unnecessary. I know. Sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, 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 oh. My bad. Original gangster. They approach it like, oh, if I was rich, but I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be thing. I'd rather be cry, uh, happy in a Nissan with my family than crying in a, in a Lamborghini, which was what my friend said, and then he backtracked. Like, I don't care anymore, man. It's just interesting to me. Interesting to me. Anyways, there's always a but. There's always like a, how do I say this, a catch. How can there be a catch? There is rich people out there who live an amazing life. That feel amazing. That look amazing. That have complete and utter freedom. All three of the holy trinity of happiness, tenets fulfilled. That's fitness. No, no, it's freedom. Family and fitness, right? Fitness, exactly, because strong body, strong mind. Family, because you need family and friends around you. Relationships, or a good relationship with good people around you for you to be happy. And freedom, which is obtained with money, right? With paper, with cash. Not with fucking... I'm about to insult crypto and Bitcoin, but people make a lot of that, so can't really talk too much. My bad, original gangster. Listen, money is not the NOB, but money is a valuable asset towards your freedom and your future without money you have you are not free without money you are just a peon it's what you're forced to trade your time for money and time is the most valuable asset on planet earth time is ruthless will you look the same in 10 years i i i probably will look similar if not the same in 10 years because i'm asian and my genetics are like that i just my cat, my cat scratched me. I don't know if you see this. I was bre I was breathing really bad. I was playing with him, and I, like, like, uh, and petting him, and then he just scratched the shit out of me. And like, you can see the scratch. No, they look, they look insignificant. They look, they look more significant in real life. <laughs> they, they were beating a lot. Okay, I'm, 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 I got poor hands. Okay, he scratched me on my knuckle. He scratched me on my knuckle. What type of cat does that? And he, and he actually made me bleed. Fuck, man. Anyways, it hurts really bad. Fuck on. Okay. Anyways. You can be rich and you can have that life. Alright? You, you can be happy with a bunch of fucking money. I don't understand. Money is just... It is not the end or be all, but it is yeah, like a valuable asset in contribution to your future. It is the end will be or if you're looking for like a job or something. Like, the fuck? Who cares about a job? You got $10 million in the bank. The fuck? Oh, your parents are disappointed in you because you didn't become a doctor. Classic Asian old adage, right? The fuck? I got $10 million in the bank. I got $10 million in assets. I get paid fucking two, $2 $3 million a month because my assets are paying me that much because I got real estate and shit. I don't care. Like, that's the level of the power that money gives you is that is that fuck you money that's the power that it gives you which i genuinely genuinely like intensely desire because with that level of power i can just do what i truly want which is my passion project i would do i would love to do youtube not in the way like i'm not doing I'm youtube channel the only reason why i'm so consistent with this youtube channel is because i'm not doing it for the money i'm not doing it for the views for the subs I mean, I like views and subs because then I get my message out to people. I'll probably get anxious if the my thing. That's what happened to my Berserker channel. I got anxious. I got two point four million views, and I got anxious because I got that many views. And then I was like, "What the fuck? What do I upload? Uh, I can't appeal to as many people. Uh, what do I do? What do I do?" I hadn't 
set up a proper foundation for YouTube, which is what I'm actually planning to do for this YouTube channel. Damn, I'm getting, I'm getting happy with inside all of a sudden. I'm like the way I'm, I'm passionate about this. I'm, I'm like, I, I can you feel it. I can feel my passion, my motivation, my genuine desire, to not only to become successful but to spread my message out there. I want people to know that you don't have to be mundane. You don't have to be mediocre. You don't have to be a coward, complacent, Asian. And like, I'm the only Asian in my neighborhood for the most part. For what I've seen, and there's a few Asians around my my block. I've seen, but we're. People are alien. It's England. It's London. People are alienated to other. Love thy neighbor. There's there's no love to my neighbor. All right. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about each other. Nobody cares. What was it again? I saw a cute Asian girl today. She just looked at me for a sec. Looked at the way. I looked at her for a sec. I looked away. I added some trash to carry downstairs. I was busy. There is no sense of like. There's no semblance of community. Uh, there is no semblance at all, and if you only have the only Asian part of the community that you get is from your parents, like little hype or whatnot, they're gonna be like they're gonna force try to force their ideals onto you because that's what they think is be it's the best for you. Like you can't hate your parents; they they're trying to give you the best possible life that they can. That's the whole purpose, right? But they don't know what the fucking best possible life that that, that is. And when you bring it up like millionaire lifestyle, or even though you're millionaire lifestyle, you're gonna be making a ten grand a month, thirty grand a month, forty five grand a month. 50 grand a month within a business. You make 10 grand a month within a business. If you're selling a product for 50 pounds, sell 200 products a month, make sure the product is in high demand, it's in trendy, and you fulfill a, a market amount uh, usually, and it's a full time, it's full time in a job for you to just sell items. You sell seven a day, seven times 30 is 210 sales a month, which is 10,500. I did the math in my head. The Asian persuasion, bro. It's ten thousand five hundred uh, pounds a month with two hundred sales. A, a product at fifty pounds, which is a bit of a high end, a bit of a more high end uh, ticket product. But if it's trendy and people genuinely want it and need it, the fuck you can sell it for fifty. It could be like some bullshit, like ultra limited edition kettles. Sell two hundred a month, you're set. Obviously, it'll be it'll be a bit it'll be very very fucking difficult. Cold calling companies. Maybe you're doing an affiliate marketing program, or you could be creating your own product. You have to get a pan for your product. You gotta think about manufacturing the product, and then you gotta be thinking about selling the product and sales process. And then you gotta be hiring staff. You gotta be da 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 da. But it's all worth it. It's much better than a job. You keep the majority of the profits. And I'm not shitting on a job, alright? Because if you're happy and content with your job, that's actually amazing. It, that's actually amazing. If you if you're happy and content within a, a job. You're genuinely happy and content, and you're just my life. I got my job, come home, play video games, whatever. You happy with that? Sure. But if you're unhappy with that, you're unhappy with media with mediocrity, and in your mind, someone because the majority of people actually the very small people are actually genuinely happy, believe it or not. And the majority of people have this little voice in their head. What am I doing in my life? They, but they have a small chance, small time to think after they get home. It's like. You see it everywhere, right? It's that classic old adage. You you go you go to work in the morning, and then you come home at like you go to work in the morning at six a.m. and you come home at seven p.m. You're dead tired of the long day of work. Your wife cheating on you, and you go and your your daughter is a <laughs> hoe, <laughs> and your son's a deadbeat video gamer, and you just you just ponder for a single second. What have I done in my life? Boom. That voice, that little voice in your head, you need to cultivate it. That's your way out. You can get this at any age. I got it early. Because I didn't like being a being a fucking idiot. I didn't like being just an idiot running around, talking to girls that are mediocre and just regretting it the day after. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have that shitty lifestyle. I wanted freedom. I want to see my grandparents. The time alone that I've got, it has been driven me into insanity and back. I had COVID. I was. I literally had hallucinations of a demon coming out of my bed, in order to grab my feet. And I calmly. I remember this clearly. I calmly walked over to my my chair. I'm pretty sure I told this story before, but I'm telling you this because of the, like I'm trying to I'm trying to instill the value of alone time and thoughts and money and money. I walked over to my chair, then I started crying. <laughs> That's the first time I cried. 
the last year. That's the first. That's pretty much that's like the second or third time I cried. One uh, thing. Something big happened in my family, personal family matters. I, I shed a tear, one tear, and I moved on with my life. <laughs> I, I don't cry. I don't cry much. It's um. It's a bit weird to think about. It's bit. It's bit far. Um. Harkening back to my year seven self, my primary school self, it's just, it's a, it's a, <gasps> fucking 6.05 a.m., tired, I was a coward, and, have anyone just gave me the opportunity to make money young, I just, these thoughts young, you like, kids getting on self improvement at 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, 16, like, you were so lucky, I was lucky as well, I got it on when I was 16, you're so lucky, you're so, you're genuinely so fucking lucky, because you have so much years to fail, and to experience, listen guys, money's not the end of the all, don't fall in love with money, fall in love with the process of making money, and fall in love with profit, and fall in love with the idea of a wealthy lifestyle and life worth living, right, that's what I want you to fall in love with. Money is not everything. Money is fucking very nice when you have it. It's better to be in a Lamborghini but you don't have to worry about money anymore. Or stressing about the business is some shit. Or more than better than stressing about what you're gonna eat for dinner. Why well, I've been there. I've been there. Listen guys. Success is your duty and money is infinite. Remember that money is infinite always. Also, my energy. But I'm still making this video because I'm genuinely passionate about this topic. I love YouTube. YouTube is amazing. All these videos get interesting. I'll catch you in the next video. I don't know the next video. Look at me. Look at me. I look horrible now, but it's like. If I pamper myself a bit up, fix my skin, fix my hair, I look like some K-pop e-boy, bro, for the mullet a bit. Natural mullet. But your boy was a geek. That's me three years ago. That's completely different. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Do this so you can see it. I was like five foot, like five. No, no, five. Foot. I was like five foot three or some shit. No, I was two inches, an inch taller than my mom. My mom was five foot, or four foot eleven. So I think five foot one or five foot two. I'm now five foot seven, turning five foot eight. I'm a strong five foot seven. Turning five foot eight, I'm very short, but I still like be much next by eight inches. Okay, guys. So five foot eleven is I. I keep thinking about five foot eleven in my head. Like guys, it's, it's it's always a chase, right? Like, oh, I'm five foot eleven. I'm not six foot. Like, if I'm five foot nine, five foot ten, five foot eleven, those three numbers, like, I'm genuinely happy with my life for the rest of my life. I remember I saw Tristan Tate was talking about my growth spot didn't finish. And my growth spot, I think, it came pretty late because I did get facial hair early. What I'm worried about is I don't, I won't grow, and I haven't seen really much growth in my feet. So, fuck, man, it's it's scary, man. I don't want to be this height forever for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna go on a run tomorrow. Um, I will go off on it now if I had energy, but 6 a.m. and it's fucking dark as shit. I'm tired as fuck. <sighs> Everyone can change. This is me three years ago. Um, a year ago today, I decided. A year ago today, I decided that I didn't know I no longer want to be mediocre. I was very fat. If I edit this video, which I probably will, I'll put like a little like reaction video, then edit, and then a hyper reaction edit for the main channel in which I propel myself for the YouTube. They're like main channel is the is the main plane, main main plane, main train for uh, development and growth for the channel. But this is like my not necessarily haven. This is the way you build the community. This is where you build. People that genuinely know, get to know who you are. This is how I am in real life. This is how I am in real life. I'm quite intense of individual, but I'm, I'm an honest person. And I'm, I genuinely want to work hard. And I genuinely want to live a life worth living. And I genuinely want to be around people like this way. I hate people that look down on themselves and look down on others and try to drag you down to that level. This is like, anyways.
hypocrisy. I'll catch you next video. Sign out around 15 minutes. Ah!